this concert, I've put together a set of my most recent compositions. Um, all this music has been written in the past six months uh, during pandemic times um, and uh, are focused around my most recent musical obsession, um, which has been uh, Cuban rumba as of late. Um, I've been learning to play the tumbalora and I've been really inspired by that music for a long time. Um, and so I tried to capture abstractly some of that feeling, um, some of the counterpoint, and um, just the melodies that happen between um, separate people and the, the kind of feeling of, you know, collective forward motion through uh, simultaneous individual paths. Um, kind of the, the strengthening of the individual leading to a stronger collective or something. Um, additionally, this music really um, you know, speaks to that and, and tries to feature the improvisational voices of each of the members um, separately. You know, the music is written um, in a way that uh, the parts can really stretch and that um, and really tries to account for um, everybody's individual contributions. This instrumentation actually came about as a result of the personnel. Um, before I really thought about the instruments that we play, um, I wanted to you know, play with these personalities and I wanted to put all of us together. Um, and so I think that this music really reflects the personalities more than the instruments. Um, you know, as far as instruments go, we have Doyoung Kim, uh, who is performing on Kayagam, and that is a Korean zither. Um, we have Lezimak on drum set and percussion. Um, and the percussion that she's augmenting the drum set with is uh, our cowbells and wood blocks, um, bongos, some other percussion. Um, and myself, I'm playing uh, alto saxophone, soprano saxophone, and alto flute in this ensemble. Um, and you know, I really think about this ensemble as having sort of three distinct uh, sections. We have kind of a woodwind section, a string section with the kayagum and a percussion section with the percussion and uh, with alternate uh, techniques and uh, preparations that we like to use we can sort of shapeshift and, and become part of each other's sections. I can be part of the percussion section um, with a uh, you know slapped hung on the saxophone and uh, Leslie uh, with a bow and a cymbal can become part of the string section for example. So a timbrely, um you know, a very explorative ensemble, um, and that's written into some of the music as well. Um, we try uh, to really explore the limits of our instrumentation and to find a collective sound um, that is not so um, uh, stuck in the sounds that we can make, but um, trying to find new ways to get around that. These compositions really rely uh, heavily on improvisation to bring them to life. Um, and they're written to allow the composers to, you know, infuse the music with um, their personalities, their aesthetics, their, uh, their ways of, of being, ideally. Um, you know, I like to write rigorous music, a lot of the music is really specific in a lot of ways, um, but I also, and I think that this reflects something about me, uh, I like to um, give the performers the opportunity to throw that all away as well. Um, they can play the really important part, the really rigorous part, or they could throw it away if um, something that they will contribute will take it in another direction. Um, you know, altogether, I think the three of us come from such drastically different backgrounds. Um, Doyan with her um, Korean folk training, um, and that was music that I knew nothing about um, before I started working with her, and before you know, the, all of us started looking into that, um, learning about that music um, with Doyan. Um, and you know, Leslie and I coming from more of a jazz background, um, but even so, having very different experiences. Um, with jazz, with swing, um, and now 
kind of moving in this direction where we're exploring um, Afro-Cuban folkloric music, um, Cuban folkloric music, and, and just um, thinking uh, about a way to combine that perspective with our um, improvisational aesthetics, with a kind of a noise aesthetic, with the music that is happening here in New York currently, um, and, and the music that we are exposed to a lot of, um, you know, how can we combine all of that, that um, we're trying to find a way to do that with the written part as well, and really stretching the written part um, and infusing every musical moment with our personalities.